Hi, uh, this tutorial is about uh, you know configuring subnet mask. Uh, but before we proceed to that, um, let me just recall back the types of uh, IP addresses. Uh, first, class A, um, the range is one to one to six. Class B, one to eight to one nine one, and as you know, class C is from one nine two to two to three. Now, how do you form thirty two bits? 32 bits it's actually from the four octets right so eight bits per, per octet like for example this 10 is one octet this is second this is third and uh, this is the fourth octet so the four octets equal, uh, equal 32 bits so eight bits per uh, octet okay now um, we always talk about the default subnet mask so if I mean, if you look at for class A, um, okay, this is just an example of an IP. The default mask is 255.000. How do we read this? So now, we're going to fix 8 bits, right? 8 bits for the network ID and then the remaining 24 bits for the host. So in total, 32 bits. So for class B network, two octets will be fixed. Right, and therefore you should have 255 or 255 here, uh, which is for network, and then the remaining 16 bits here for host. So that's why it's 16 for network here and 16 for host. Now for class C, as you can see here, uh, the 24 bits are fixed for network, and the remaining one uh, octet is for uh, host. So this is 24. For network ID and 8 bits for the host now that's fundamentals so you guys will have to really know about this uh, very well before we proceed further to calculate the uh, subnet now in order to calculate the subnet so the bits will have to be converted into uh, obviously a decimal okay so I have come up with this simple uh, binary to decimal notations all right so now this you've got to read from right to left how do you read this from right to left uh, let me just go down yep it's here um, right this is 2 to the power the first one here right 2 to the power 0 all right and the second one is 2 to the power 1 and this is 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 5, and then 2 to the power 6, 2 to the power 7. So that goes to all the octaves here. Now, in total is 255. All right? 1 to 8, plus 64, plus 32, plus 16, 8, plus 4, plus 2, plus 1 equals 255. Okay, so that one you got to take note. Now, um, this is just an example of uh, a class A. As you can see, 8 bits uh, on here. Basically, 8 bits are 1. Okay, so that's uh, that means uh, 1, uh, you know, 1 times a uh, 2 to the power 0 plus 1 times 2 to the power 1 and so on. So basically, if, well, you know, the total of this is 255 okay and this way anything times 0 is 0 anything times 0 is 0 yeah it's all 0 so that's why 255.000 now since the 8 bits are on here yeah so that's why put uh, we, we use slash 8 we call this a CIDR value so it's a classless inter domain routing all right so let's say you borrow uh, you know one more bit over here so that means 8 plus 1 9 right yeah you can see here 9 so you borrow one uh, bit so to this uh, second octet uh, so what happened here so this one the rest of zero right one to the power two to the one one i mean one times two to the power seven so you get 128 that's why you see i see this it's replaced into one to eight instead of zero and the remaining two is uh octets are zero so yeah it's here and this is yeah the c idea value nine now look at the third example here. Um, 
yeah this is 255 this is 255 this is 255 now how many here so one two three four five six six ones six ones that means the first two to the power zero and two to the power one okay so this one you can minus these two so that means uh, you do not need to worry about these two so you go to add up from 4 to 128 that is uh, how much you get 252 right 252 because it's 255 basically minus 3 you get 252 and how do you call this how do you how do you get slash 30 so slash 30 comes from this is 24 and plus 6 here you get 30 all right now so with that uh let's look at how to go about it in calculating the, 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 the subnet so now how many hosts if you take an example of a class c network right how many hosts in class c uh, host normally we use it for end users right nodes uh, now if you want to calculate the number of hosts for class c is 2 to the power 8 all right why 2 to the power 8 why 8 because uh, 8 bits are reserved right 8 bits are reserved for um, the host for class c let's see, let me go back here it's here so that's why we use 2 to the power 2 to the power 8 equals 256 and then minus 2 why we minus 2 because we reserve one for a subnet id and the another one is for a broadcast id okay so take note of this so 256 minus 2 you get to use 254 all right 254 uh, we will see you know how to configure this later in packet tracer uh, but just take note 256 minus 2 see Get to use 254 right now let's take uh, an example of this uh, 192.168.10.0 it's a classy network um, and then the uh, yeah the subnet mass is 128 because of slash 25 right slash 25 so in exams you will see i won't give you this uh, mask in details I'll just give you a slash 25. So slash 25, it will be returned in this manner. So 8, 16, uh, I mean, yeah, 16 plus 8, 24 plus 1, here 25. All right. So uh, how you got 1 to 8 here? This 1 times 2 to the power 7. So what's 2 to the power 7? 2 to the power 7 is 1 to 8. All right. So now that's why uh, you get this mask here, 1 to 8. The rest are zeros, right? So you're not going to do anything with this, uh, the 7, uh, the last 7, right? The last 7 is for, uh, yeah, to, in fact, to calculate the host. Now, uh, in order to calculate like how many subnets, so what we do, we look at 2 to the power 1. Okay, we look at how many ones in this class C, uh, especially the last octet, right? So 2 to the power 1, uh, because it has only uh, 1, 1, obviously. So it's equal to, so you get two subnets. And how many hosts per subnet? You get the remaining zeros, right? How many zeros? 7. So 2 to the power 7, uh, minus 2, as I told you, uh, you have to uh, mi minus two because you've got to reserve one for subnet and one for broadcast ID, right? So two to the power seven minus two, which is one hundred twenty-eight minus two, you get one hundred and twenty-six hosts per subnet. So how we're going to generate a table? So you get two subnets, and each subnet you got one hundred and twenty-six hosts, right? Now, let's take this as an example. You know, we are planning this for a college, and uh, one is a faculty network, the other one is a student's network, right? So, your network starts with zero, right? Which is a 192.168.10.0, right? And your first host is one, okay? You just have to go sequentially. So, this one we normally use for 
a router gateway, right? Then uh, now one to one to six. Okay, one to one to six is the the uh, total number of hosts per subnet. And you have broadcast ID. You're going to have broadcast ID for each subnet, so one to seven, and sequentially you're going to continue again for subnet two. One to eight becomes a network ID, right? A subnet uh, ID. And the first host in the second network is one to nine, which is one nine two one sixty eight dot ten dot one two nine. Okay. And just take note: one plus uh, one two five equals one to six here. So one two nine plus one two five, you get two five four. And of course, the last one is two five five. So that's that's the last uh, uh, ID, which is a broadcast ID, right? So now. Uh, if you are planning for uh, two subnets uh, for an organization, so you can consider using uh, this approach, right? Uh, class C, as long as uh, uh, you know you have users about 100, uh, you know, plus 126. Uh, yeah, you can consider uh, having these two subnets. Okay. Uh, now, let's test this network using packet tracer here. You know, I've already designed here for, for you to uh, understand easily. Now, I'm expecting uh, dot three, okay, for this side, faculty network dot three for PC and dot four for second PC. Uh, and as you can see, dot three and dot four, it's in the, uh, yeah, the first subnet, right? And one three one here, dot one three one and dot one three two is supposed to be in this subnet. Okay, now I'm also going to have like, yeah, uh, plan to have a server to supply the IPs automatically to the client. So now this is the server which uh, I have planned to, yeah, uh, assign dot two, all right. And this server here on the, the other side is dot one three zero. Okay, so as you can uh, notice here, I have not used dot one here. Dot one is the first host. I'm actually reserving it for future router connection. And over here, one two nine, right? For this network, one two nine is uh, one two nine is the uh, yeah the, the the first host. So again, I'm reserving that uh, for the uh, router connection you know, for this particular network. Now, how to go about it? So this simple design. So now let's configure the server um, right, let's configure the server now IP address so IP address is 192.168.10.2 and the mask is right 128 you've got to change that the gateway is 192.168.10.2 And then you got to have, uh, yeah, you got to set up a DHCP, DHCP. Okay, let's change this to the gateway 192.168.10.1. Got to turn on the DHCP now. Here I'm going to start because two, one is the gateway, two is the server, and then I'm going to start a network from three. One to eight is correct, so you got to save this. All right, then close. And over here, you could do the same thing. Um, right. Uh, 192.168.10.130. Okay, 128. A128, and then the gateway is 192.168.10.129, right? You should plan. So now, if you're going to just get the PC, okay, just click DSCP, you'll get the IP address. Yep, it's working. It's dot three. And over that side, 